Hey guys, it's Matt the Woodshed Barber, and today we're talking about the all new Andis Emerge. So a trend I see going on is that all these barbers out there trying to talk about, you know, versatility and making sure that they're utilizing their time to the best, making sure their speed is up, making sure they're, you know, knocking out top quality haircuts at a fast speed. Well, guys, if you do not know, the best way to do that, the absolute best way to do that is detachable blade clippers. Now, that seems like something that's been a fore foregone idea except with a few companies. And so we're going to talk about the newest offering from Andis. And guys, it could be it could be just the clipper you guys needed to dip your toes in the water of the detachable market and see for yourself how good these clippers really are. Let's go ahead and debut this. It's called the Andis Emerge. The best way I can describe this clipper is if you took the BGR and you put it with the ergonomic, quieter, powerful lithium ion battery system of the Supra ZR, and you merged them together and they had a clipper baby. Well, it's the eMerge. There's a good reason why you guys will want this. For one, it's going to be cheaper than the Supra. The Supra is not going away, and neither is the Pulse. Now, if you want to know the difference between those two, let me just go ahead and say it real quick. Same clipper different motor, different speeds. The Pulse is stronger in every five speed than the Supra. But the Supra goes from 8, 1800 RPMs to 3800 RPMs. Well, this one has one speed and it's 3800 RPMs, it's the top speed, which is around the third or fourth speed on the Pulse, which is where I keep mine anyway. So you're gonna have plenty of power in this thing, which we'll get to that in a second. But overall opinion of this clipper what who's it going to be for if you have wanted to dip your toes into the detachable blade market this is going to be a good offering my guess is whenever it hits the market now uh, they've already released the price but we all know that the msrp is never what the price sits at but my guess is this is going to be 30 to 40 dollars cheaper than the supra i find myself grabbing it more now than i do my pulse and you're gonna you're gonna hear it in a minute so guys without any further ado let's talk about the emerge clipper from andis pop the hood to jay-z and no shit. it is a rotary motor clipper just like all the all the detachable blades from andis are but it has a little bit different feel to it a little bit different sound to it but I'll go ahead and tell you guys, if you've never touched a detachable blade clipper, then I cannot explain to you how much power this thing has. Now, you may hear me say 3,800 RPMs. Well, dude, there's clippers out there with, you know, 72 is the norm now, 7,200 RPMs or, or 10,000 or 1,150 with the Instinct. Detachables are a different beast. With these, it's all about the torque. And with that blade, the finesse cut that you get out of these. For one thing, you're mowing through hair, but you have to do it once. And that's why this thing boosts your speed. So the power is fanatical. It's amazing. The power is top notch. But the one, one drawback compared to the Pulse or the Supra, those have a three hour runtime. This has a one and a half hour runtime. And sadly, this is my one flaw that this clipper has, it does not have a charging stand. It does have a cord that you plug into the bottom. Now, to their credit, I will say it's a normal plug into the, into the wall. It's not that big brick. It's a normal plug and it goes to a cord and it has a separate brick. Think of like an Xbox 360. It has a separate brick, then a longer cord. And this cord is so long, guys, as far as how you want to weave it throughout your station, that's one perk of this is that it's going to be easy to grab that cord and it's not going to be too short. 
but I don't like a cord. I prefer a charging stand. I honestly wish they would have made it to where it fit in the pulse charging stand as an option. But regardless, right, there's the plug. But you guys are ready to hear why this clipper is going to be so dynamic. Notice I said here. This is the quietest attachable blade clipper to ever exist. Ever. It is barely louder. So, put it next to my Instinct. Instinct's louder. Put it next to my Pulse. Pulse is louder. Put it next to my Revite. Revite's louder. The only tool that I've got clipper-wise that is a little quieter is either my Babeless FX Boosts or my T-Pob XO. And honestly, because of the sound that comes out of this thing, it sounds quieter. Even though it's a little bit louder than this, decibel-wise, it sounds quieter. This thing is amazing. And look, if you guys don't know, for one thing, if you guys do have a BGR or a, a Pulse or a Super and it's gotten louder, all you gotta do is just change that little nylon blade drive and it'll get back like it's brand new. Uh, I have had, and also, if you notice, no detachable battery. But, my Pulse ZR, so notice I didn't say ZR2, my Pulse ZR, the first one that came out, did not have a detachable battery. This clipper is going on nine years. Nine years. I've not had it fail me. So, what does that tell you? Power, 20 out of 10. Blade, ha, uh, how many blades? I mean, that's the thing that makes these so wonderful. The blades, multiple blades, you have all of them. So, I mean, there's no number I can put on that. Oster blades work on it. At least the ones that fit the 76. The ones that fit the Turbo 111 do not. But 76 blades work on it. And a ceramic edge, which are my top favorite, and also stay sharp forever. I mean, I've got some of those I've had for that eight or nine years that I've only had to maybe replace the uh, ceramic cartridge in it just once, if that. So blades, and there's not even a score for that. They're killer. Now granted, they are expensive, but you get into a platform like this whenever you decide that barbering is your career and not your job. Let me repeat that. Whenever you decide that barbering is your career and not just your job, that's whenever you start putting money into something like this because you know this is gonna save you time, it's gonna perfect cuts, and I mean, well, that, that's time is money, right? So, blade, no score, out the roof. It's, you know it, what's up? You're in dire need of an upgrade. Systemic, top to bottom. Now, it is a different design than the Pulse. Similar, but different, or sorry, or the Supra, same thing. So, this, is about a fourth of an inch shorter than this. It doesn't look like it, but if you measure them up, bottom to bottom, top to top, about a quarter of an inch. It's also a little bit lighter, only about maybe half a gram, but the weight distribution is different. Where this right here is kind of, is just the whole thing kind of feels bulky. This has got that low end weight that we talked about, about how the BGR had that, so whenever you're going through and you're pushing out and making sure you don't put a line in. Cutting with detachables is different. I've got a tutorial coming up soon. It is very comfortable to do that, but it has that same skinny waist that we're used to. It actually has a couple finger ridges. Now, I've got my rubber grip on there, but you can see slightly those little finger ridges that they've got in there underneath it. But design, with the exception of battery compatibility I would have given this a 10 out of 10 but because you can't charge it on a stand or at least use the Supra's stand I'm gonna say it's a a 9 out of 10 top notch design also one thing I also like the um, the Supra and the Pulse got this big long 
guess cavity cover. It's what the blade drive is, is in. So let me remove that for a second. And that's the blade drive right there. So you can see it's pretty long and especially whenever I have my grip on there, I actually have to go underneath my grip to put it back on. With this one, move that blade back a little bit. Much smaller cavity, but same blade drive. And it has like these little tabs that lock in and clicks right in place. Feels like it's more secure than the BGR one was and the Pulse and Super was. So, but one of the, my favorite additions that they've done is on for the first time ever on a barber tool they have decided to put in the blade lock now if you don't know what the blade lock is you know these blades are expensive 30 50 dollars somewhere in between sometimes in the 20s but mostly 30 to 40 dollars per blade sometimes whenever you these can pop off quite easily because that hinge and before you know it boom you've dropped a blade you've broken a tooth you've shattered the ceramic edge blade whatever it is a very bad day for a barber but this blade lock means that you do not take off the blade until you intend to. And you think it might be troublesome, you get used to it very fast. You either push it in with your thumb, or in some cases, whenever I grab it, I actually pull on it right there with my finger, and then it comes off. So finally, the blade lock is here for barbers. It's because the way that my bank account is set up, the thing is, I got a check in the savings, but all my money is in the savings. I don't think my card is going to go through. Now they're saying, they're saying it's going to be, I think, two seventy nine. But they also say through the website that the Supra costs three twenty nine, and that the Pulse costs three ninety nine. Well, it's not really the case. Right now, you can get the Supra on Amazon for I think two twenty something. Uh, you can get the Pulse on there for two ninety nine, sometimes three twenty nine, depending on who you buy it from. I think that this might become the first quality detachable blade clipper to be accessible. Maybe shortly after it releases, I don't know. But maybe you could be able to get this for under $200. I think it's a possibility. And that's why I say this is going to be so good for people wanting to tip their toes into the very expensive part of being a career barber. So, I mean, under $200, which in today's world for clippers, come on guys, we're paying $260 for a FX1 that can't do what this one can do. I'll go and tell you that. Under $200 for a top notch clipper. Price, I'm gonna say nine out of 10 guys. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. If you've never cut with a detachable blade clipper, it's hard to describe the performance you get out of it. I'm gonna show some footage of me cutting with this thing. For one thing, the, the best thing about this clipper, like I said, is the sound. I wish they could make the Pulse and Supra sound like this one does. It is so nice. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal operating clipper. It just glides through hair, makes fading quick easy, the debulking easy. Performance you cannot ask better from a clipper than what this thing can do. So performance wise, 10 out of 10. So my final thoughts on this clipper. Now, I know what you guys may be thinking. This guy has been pretty obvious and, and, and transparent that he has a relationship with Andis. And yeah, they sent this to me so I could take a look at it and, and do a review on it. But don't just take it from me. Whenever it comes to the kind of praise that the Supra was getting, um, Eddie over there at YouTube Barber Academy. Everybody knows he's been an Oster Volt and Oster Octane guy for a very long time and has kind of poo-pooed on Andis quite a bit. But if you look at his most recent video where he talks about the detachable blade hull that he brought in where he had, you know, the, I think he had a, a BGR, he had the Pulse, he had the Octane, he had all the detachable clippers in, the new 76. He went through all of them. And if you go back and watch that, you can see him being surprised be like, Man, I've never used this, but man, this Supra is, is it's something else. It's, it's different. It's quiet. It's powerful. It's comfortable in the hand. Now, I know that he's probably still a lover of the Octane, but 
I mean, that 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 right there is your proof. He's not an Andis guy, and he, even he's like, man, this thing is it's tight. So if there's any validity I can give my argument on this, is that if that's got the praise it's gotten, the Pulse and the Supra, the Emerge, that quiet, quiet motor. Oh, it's going to be such a joy to do flat tops and and the Travis Kelsey cut. <laughs> Can we talk about that for a second? How fun is it that everybody's like, man, give me that Travis Kelsey cut. You mean a mid to high bald fade? Okay. My wife actually told me she was, uh, she was watching Good Morning America at her job. And they had a segment of trying to show barbers how to do the Travis Kelsey cut. Let me go ahead and say this. If your barber does not know how to give a fade, a mid to high bald fade, you don't want to be going to that barber anyway. So, hilarious that this is a thing. But anyway, regardless, you want smooth cuts? I'm telling you guys, wait for the tutorials. This thing is going to be in a lot of them debulking, setting up your fade. Even if you like fading with adjustables, just doing your base level and and getting your first layer done getting that bulk cut off getting your target for where you're going to cut off with this whether it's a five zero or a one and a half or two whatever you want to set your fades in with or if you're like me and you like to cut a lot from top to bottom right here guys guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all this is a fun journey uh let's keep this going here soon, I'm going to try to figure out a way to go live and we can just have some chats, guys. We can, we can talk. I would love to do that. And so, click that like button, subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment on the video, keep it humble and kind. And as always, I'll check you on the next one.